I have just put in braces on my top teeth and oh my god let me tell you how hard it is to talk I literally have a list and I keep spitting everywhere because saliva gets building up all over the show please excuse me I'm trying to overcome my list and hopefully in the next video I'll talk a bit more normal I am going to be doing a separate video on my braces and all that jazz and how much it was and the procedure and how I'm dealing with it and stuff but I've only got my top set put in because you have to wait like two weeks before the bottom set so you can get used to it anyways guys let's get started with the tutorial <laughs> so today we're going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills subculture palette I used this yesterday for an Instagram video, but I literally only used like two shades from it But this is what the palette looks like if you haven't seen it already So it does come with a brush, but I threw away the brush because ain't nobody got no time to use the two little brushes So my first impressions of this eyeshadow palette, I think is very very full inspired I think it's a bit weird that this palette comes out in August because that's still kind of summer This should come out in like September or October, you know, I feel it's very autumnal these colours It's got a lot of greens on here, it's got some brown To be honest, the shades in here, I don't know if it's really like my taste but it's a nice palette but i don't see why everyone's going a bit too crazy over it i have colors like this already in my own eyeshadow collection but i guess if you don't really have a lot of greens and these kind of like autumnal colors it's a really nice palette to go for i guess but yesterday when i was using it i just have to say it's very dusty like as soon as you tap that so much eyeshadow comes out and it's a good thing and a bad thing in a way because that means the shadows are really pigmented but it's going to give you hella fallout girl so normally with eyeshadow palettes like this i would recommend do your eyes first rather than your foundation first i also found that problem with the modern renaissance palette as well but i really like the modern renaissance palette but i feel like that palette should have a black but yeah everyone is going on about how these eyeshadows don't blend and stuff like that so we're going to try it on camera today yesterday i literally only used this fudge shade and then a little bit of roxy but let's try like the whole whole palette today and see okay please excuse my house right now there are two crazy dogs running around and they're barking all over the show okay so in the palette the color that draws me the most is this color here it's called axis and it's like a dark green color and i'm going to use my mac 217 brush and i'm going to dab this slightly oh my god so much freaking powder falls onto the brush let's see if this blends out okay so i'm not going to use the eyeshadow base for today because normally i wouldn't use the eyeshadow base i'll just use my concealer as my base with powder on top sometimes i put eyeshadow base if i'm doing like metallic colors or if i want a color to stand out a lot but for blending out eyeshadow sometimes i find when you put eyeshadow bases it makes it harder to blend because it's quite sticky okay so today's eyeshadow look i'm gonna actually do like a, a full matte smoky eye because the look of this color without any eyeshadow base i'm like mm, i'm feeling you girl i'm feeling you so i'm actually gonna put this all over my eyelid normally i would use like a flat shader brush but this is quite flat as well that's why i like the 217 because it's flat but then it's still a little bit fluffy at the same time so the edges are not too harsh so i'm gonna put this all over the eyelid oh dear lord this is pigmented the fallout is okay i'm not getting a lot of fallout because i'm dusting my brush off every single time i pick up more eyeshadow every single time i touch the eyeshadow i have a lot of fallout in here like this is a lot so you have to be very light-handed when you use this palette because it has so much color inside of the pan and you don't want to be wasting it you know because every single time you tap that's like one dollar gone so you don't want to waste it so whenever you pick up the eyeshadow you need to tap it really lightly so you're not wasting a lot of eyeshadow dust and then i'm literally just tapping it on my eyelid so whenever i want to pack an eyeshadow on i'll always tap and then when i want to blend out that's when i start to sweep okay so i'm going back and forth all over my eyelid okay so i look a bit crazy right about now so we have to make sure we blend this out so i'm just using the 217 and just going back and forth just to make the edge a little bit softer now that you have it slightly blended out a lot of people that see on the tube they'll just leave their eyeshadow like this but no bitch you need to blend especially if you don't blend your eyeshadow out it'll make your eyelids look really small like, i feel like my eyes look really beady right now so we need to make sure we blend it all into the transition shade you know okay using my smith 232 brush i'm going to go in with this orangey shade it's called new wave very pigmented guys very pigmented okay and then i'm just gonna go on top and just start to blend out the color because i want it to fade into like this orangey shade i think that'll look really pretty 
So you want to make sure this brush is very fluffy because the colour is so pigmented you don't want it to look like another half the line because it will look like a rainbow stripe. So I'm just going back and forth and I'm going to like circular motions as well because you still want the axis colour to blend out and when you put this shade on top you'll find that the axis colour will go a little bit more khaki so it's got a really soft fade into two colours. I would actually probably recommend to start with New Wave first and put this into your crease so that you have that base colour ready and then slowly blend into the axis shade on the lid. I'm also taking a little bit of this edge colour and I'm just blending it in because the New Wave is a bit more orangey so I just want to fade it out so it's a bit more like have a yellow undertone to it. So I'm kind of mixing the two colours together into the transition shade and you guys can see that now that I've put on the new wave and edge on the eyes the eyelid is not as pigmented anymore so that is to be expected so we're gonna have to go back in with axis back with the 217 and make sure you tap it off okay and then you just reapply the axis shade it's all about blending taking it away and adding more take it away adding more because that's how you're gonna get a soft fade and a good transition shade so we want to make sure these two shades kind of match up and blend together okay so we use destiny this is like a khaki green and then this is going to go right on top so it kind of blends in together hopefully that's the plan anyways <laughs> these eyeshadows they're a bit hard to blend because they're so pigmented that you have to make sure that the colours don't clump together and sometimes you know you just want a soft fade and it turns out being really pigmented you're like I don't want it to be that stronger it's kind of like having do you know when blushes are too pigmented and it's like fuck's sake it's got too much freaking cloud cheeks happening you know you don't want it to be too pigmented where you can slowly build up you know but we complain when it's not pigmented complain when it's too pigmented you can't win can you okay so this is blending a bit better and then I'm going to go back in again with new wave and edge tap it off again and then we're just literally going to blend on top of that to make sure it's very, very seamless. And then we can do the same on the other. Ah! Okay, just done both eyes. So now we're going to go and do the bottom lash line. Now I'm going to use this Marc Jacobs eyeliner and my battery is flashing. Red girl, that means I'm in charge of batteries, bitch. Quickly! So the Marc Jacobs eyeliner, this one is called Overt. It's like a dark green shade. Mm, this Marc Jacobs eyeliner are the best, guys, the best. I like them because you like to sharpen, you just twist them. Okay, and this is just going my bottom lash line. Okay, so I'm going to put it on my bottom lash line. Ooh, yes. That was perfect. I'm going to make sure it's on the inner corners here because I want this bit to be quite pointy to make my eyes look really elongated. Okay, I'm going to blend this eyeshadow out. I'm using this shade. It's called Untamed. This is with a Zoeva 224. Because I have so many brushes, but I feel like I need more brushes. You know when you just feel like you need that one particular type of brushes for this and a particular cut for this? God, I have so many. I don't need any more, but I do secretly. So you guys see the difference between the blend and not the blend? This one looks all beady and shit. This one's like smoky smoky. Mm. Okay, on my eyes, I'm going to take my brush that I used earlier for the new wave and just lightly, very, very lightly tap it in again. One tap, guys. That's <laughs> how lightly I'm talking. And I'm just going to slowly run it underneath. Just very, very light. Just so it has a slight tint of the yellowy, orangey shade so it matches on top. Just literally lightly, guys. Very lightly. I can't stress that enough. Otherwise, it'll look like fucking your yellow eye bags, okay? Okie dokie. That's the eyeshadow done. Did it done? Did. So I'm going to just put on some lashes now and I also want to tight line my lash line because you guys can see this is up in here. It's got lots of skin girl and this needs to be dark. Okay, so we're going to use a black pencil. I keep using the same one all the time. I need to get some more to switch up for you guys. So I'm going to use this Paradise Kajal Exotic L'Oreal eyeliner and it's really really weird. It looks like a freaking fat ass freaking nipple girl. But basically this is just like a black pencil. So I'm like that. So I'm just going to tight line my eyes i think this is brand new for l'oreal because i just got sent it so i'm just running the eyeliner along the root of my lashes just so it's more intense just by the lash line and then i'm gonna put on my lashes and mascara okay so today on the lash menu we have lily lashes mykonos i just got a new delivery of some lily lashes and girl these are my favorite lashes lily lashes are the best guys honestly like 
they're so consistent especially with mink lashes in general i always find they're very different but whenever i get the lashes they're all very consistent which is what i really like about them so we're going to use a mykonos today i really like them because they're longer in the center so they make your eyes look really nice and big okay guys so i've just got my lashes on i do have a separate video on how i stick on my eyelashes and my eyeliner how i normally do it so i'll link that in the eye card up here so while we are filming all anastasia beverly hills ah this is going to be like a full anastasia beverly hills tutorial girl so i also got sent all of their lipsticks that they just recently launched all their matte lipsticks and you can see i've opened two of them and there's one shade in here that i really like girl it's a good one and there's this one here i'm going to use today because i loved it so much when i wore it last time it's called honey and i want it to be like a really pale nude color because i feel the eyes are really intense let's swatch it for you guys so i do like the lipsticks it finishes really nice on the lips and it wore really nicely throughout the night as well but i do find that it's not a really pale shade i feel like the shades are quite dark so there's not really that many nudes in here the nudes are quite dark in here the only light nude is that honey it's probably the lightest one and then there's also this one that's called peachy I'm going to use peachy actually. Okay, so I'm not going to use no lip line. I'm going to go straight in with the bullet. And it's very, very matte when you first put it on. Cock up. Get out of here. Stop sniffing my knickers. So when you first put it on, it's very, very matte. So you have to make sure your lips are very moisturised. Otherwise, you've got some dry flaky lips. Girl, you will not like these lipsticks. It's been a long time since I use normal lipsticks. So I normally go for liquid lipsticks. But these, I find, when they wear off, they wear off really nicely. They don't leave that like, white ring around your lip where your saliva gathers up, you know, when you wear liquid lipsticks. Such a lisp, guys. I fucking hate it. It's kind of too dark, man, for this eye makeup look, bitch. It needs to be light. So this is what peaches look like on the lips. But I personally feel like it's too dark. I feel like this lip needs to be a lot lighter. So I'm going to dig in my lipstick drawer and see what else I can find to put it on top. Okay, I'm just going to put a bit of my new Delight by Rimmel on top. Mm -mm, girl. Alright guys, so that's it for this makeup tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I actually really like the Subculture palette. I think it's very, very dusty, but I have the same problem with the Modern Renaissance palette. I just feel like that is just what Anna Hedge and Beverly Hills is about. They just love their pigment. And I didn't have a problem personally me blending it, but apparently other people did. So comment down below if you had any problems with the Subculture palette. I would love to hear your thoughts on it. If you guys like this tutorial, please make sure you give me a thumbs up and also subscribe before you leave. I also upload daily on my other social media platforms. So if you follow me on snapchat twitter instagram and facebook i've linked them down below along with all the other products i use in this video so i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys bye guys shh, shh, shh. i just lips <laughs> and i said you beverly heels and i said <laughs> these braces bitch why are you not silent girl my eyes are watering because i went out last night girl i'm tired oh my eyebrows just fell out of my eyes i need some more mac 224 guys i don't know where mine have all gone got like fake MAC 224s, there's nothing that compares to it. My dog's it coming in the room. Why are you? Come here, come here. Why are you so scared of me? This is Bruiser. You guys met Bruiser before, but he's like a, such an old dog. He gets so scared whenever you pick him up. But he's a little chihuahua. Oh, you're so cute. Should I put some eyeshadow on you? No, because people are going to call the RSPCA on me. <laughs> Bye, Felicia. Is RSPCA for dogs or is that for children, actually? Oh, dogs are in the room. Snorting. Hello, another dog just popped in. A wild Coco just appeared. Yay! Hi guys, this is my nephew Coco. Oh, you best don't go. He looks so cute on camera today. Normally he's ugly AF on camera, but in real life he's really cute. He's not very photogenic at all. I don't know why he breathes like this. <laughs> Maybe because you're fat. Say bye! It's like a fucking zoo up in here, bitch. Coco, get your stinky, smelly, can't breathing ass out of here! Hit myself in the eye, bitch! Bomb and I said, you're the heels. Bomb. Bomb and I said,